well, first here from both of you. I wish you had more feelings about having such a great opening night. I mean, there was one stretch in there the first half where it looked like everybody had a letdown, but then you know, I think we made to nothing to us over there. So just talk a little bit about, you know, opening night, how you felt about the way you played. Uh, to start off, I think we came out initially with a bit of energy and played good. And then, uh, like I said, there's that run in the second half that all started with uh, Jerome Alexander when we took a charge, came in, and then we just got going from there and kept the energy high. Came out in the second half, pretty good energy, set the center, scored a couple buckets, and then uh, I thought we played pretty well. Was it more than just a play? Was there something said between you guys when we came to be 26-24? Uh, yeah, we all came together, you know, you know, talked about playing harder than them. You know, like we uh, need to bring it and play harder than them. And everybody had their own job to do. You know, play harder than the person they're starting. And everybody really bought into that. That went well. Coming now, you are you are a sophomore, so coming off of last year's season, this has to be especially good for you. Whether it's a Division three team or not, I mean. Yeah. You can argue you beat them like you should beat a Division three team, but that might not always have been the case. Mm -hmm. So you have to feel like uh, maybe you're, I mean, you've got a lot of games left, but this is a good way to start. Well, a good way to start. Uh, you know, we just got to keep believing in each other, playing as a team, and we'll see what we can do. I think what it is, it's easier for me to talk to one more time, so I'll come back to you. Exactly. I'm not forgetting the best <laughs> Uh, seemed like you had a total game. You all had 15 turnovers, but because them to make bar, you had steals, you had block shots, your two inside guys had uh, uh, 19 points, 15 rebounds, three blocks, and three steals, and uh, one turnover. So you, it wasn't just, I guess you and Kevin, uh, you and Kendall kind of loosened them up with the three pointers, and then, like you said, on that run after the charge, you you hit uh, Alexander inside for right. two quick yeah. buckets. So you think you did a little bit of both uh, today? The uh, team, what's that? Uh, you think the team did a little bit of proof they can do both. One of the things I missed most of last season, but one of the things I noticed with Navy season's teams in the past, they didn't have any inside game. But you showed it. You showed tonight that you definitely have guys inside that you will go to that can score. Mm -hmm. You think that's a different dimension? or? Um, I think that, apart from last year, uh, our, our big guys are playing a lot better, especially uh, Smoot and Worth is starting to get a feel. Uh, he's playing really well. Uh, I think uh, you know, they're going to keep working hard and we're going to keep feeding them the ball as much as we can. You know, everybody's grabbing rebounds, crashing the boards. I think, I think that's good. Okay, gentlemen. Uh, you think for Brandon? You think more for Brandon? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you did a great game. Uh, first game at point guard, there's been a lot of uh, point guards kind of been underneath the microscope, which hasn't really been here for to his freshman. Uh, you were at the point that day, you had a, uh, a, a pretty good game. How did you feel? I mean, I'm going to ask you to talk about yourself, but how, let's say the point guards in general, how do you think the point guards in general did the best? Uh, I think everyone who came in uh, contributed well to the victory. Um, for myself, I think I could put it better. I think you know, I had a decent game. I did enough for my team to win, which is always a goal. So. But I wanted to cut down the turnovers a little bit. You know, I, I had a four, so yeah. you know, it was a little too much. But you know, I also had more assists. So it's always good. Yeah, so. Yeah, so, um, but overall, I think I played a pretty well game, a pretty good game, and all the players played good too. Uh, this being your first game, you you are uh, mean. I mean, you know how the program has been the last two years. But it's got to be exciting for you to come out and play in your first game and have it be what it. It was 30 points for the second half. They ended up being a 27 point win. Uh, but I mean, how how does that make you feel? Yeah, the first um, game was definitely good because uh, coming into the season, we were on a two plus losing streak. So, you know, to come out our first game of the season and get a W and end that losing streak and start a winning streak definitely feels good. It <clears throat> definitely feels good to be a uh, part of that winning streak. But I, I imagine that you all probably had uh, the attitude and 
three the seeds of practice that you probably haven't talked about for three years. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, obviously, I bring it up because it was last year, but new season, don't think about it here yeah. now. So I know, but you know, it's kind of lingering in our head that you know we have to play better than we did last year because, um, especially last week, we saw what happens when we don't play our hardest. So having that in the back of our mind kind of motivated us to come out tonight and put a beating on us. The the beating you got in your scrimmage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that motivation just helped us come out with energy, like Brandon said earlier, and just the attack of the team nonstop. I guess you're pretty eager to get into Sunday's game now. I mean, you've got yeah. an emotional high now, and want to want to kind of have to well, but yeah. at the same time, you probably yeah, we're definitely uh, we just were in the locker room and we said like you know get a victory, but we have to move on to the next game on Sunday because you know it's a quick transition. It's only one day in between. We have to get ready for CNN tomorrow. So uh, definitely, uh, that's our main focus right now. We're not focusing too much on the game tonight, even though it was an overall good one for us. Good. Coach, can uh, we just start with some general thoughts? Yeah. Just well, I thought we we finally played. Uh, we were just playing tight the first half and. Um, you know, we really were our own worst enemy by, you know, we kept turning the, turning the ball over by, by fouls. You know, we just kept doing goofy things and, and, and creating offensive fouls and turning the ball back over and couldn't get in the flow. And I think finally that, uh, you know, the late second half, about six or seven minutes before the half, we really, uh, you know, played the way we want to play. We really pushed the ball, found open guys and made some shots and things just sort of seemed to flow a little better for us. And, I mean, we didn't shoot ourselves in the foot. You know, we, we kept the possession of the ball and instead of them getting it back to them, and we kept them off the free throw line. Thank you. It was nice to see in the second half, even with a 30-point lead, it seemed like they still played. Yeah, they played with you know, like they they were trying to five yeah. points ahead. Yeah. Yeah. And, that, and that's important, you know, especially with a young, very young basketball team. Sometimes they uh, they can have a tendency to go, um, you know, a little crazy on you. Um, so. I thought they really kept their composure the second half and, and played within the system and tried to do the things that we asked them to do. And that was nice to see as well. I thought, I thought our freshmen and our two guards really shot the ball well. Kendall off the bench and Brandon Mendereen. I thought Tillman Dunbar really pushed the ball, found open guys, and really created some um, some offense for us, which was, uh, you know, which was very, very important for us. It seemed obviously other than the first half that this was one of those with the questions that you had, this was one of those games where at least today, and granted the competition sure. what it was, you got to feel like you take, took a step. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think guys had, uh, you know, it was very important for us to taste some, some, some success. And uh, I think the guys tasted some success. And, um, you know, they, they hopefully will come in and we'll practice tomorrow. We have a huge game on Sunday with Sienna. We have a very, very talented team. So, you know, the competition level obviously will be ramped up tremendously, and we have to be ready for the challenge. Uh, but, uh, you know, I think the taste of success was important for our team, as young as we are, and, and we'd hopefully try to build some confidence. I was impressed about one thing, and I missed most of last year, but I know that having covered Navy in the past, you seem to, I know they're still young, but to, and you're inside, you seem to go to the inside guys at times tonight, and it seemed to certainly work. You've got the 6'10", 6'9", 6'6", guys in there that the Navy hasn't had before. We're trying to get the ball inside there, and, and, and in a certain situation. We have certain matchups, you know, tonight we thought we could exploit, and so we try to get the ball in there to certain guys. Uh, hopefully uh, we can continue to do that and work inside out. We're trying to sink the defense somewhat. You know, the big kids smooth at 6'10", 250. Six. Yes. And, um, you know, if we get if we get him posting up hard, people got to guard him. He's two feet from the basket. They have to guard him. So that sinks the defense, and we're hoping that that'll open up some perimeter perimeter things for us. What you did, only I think it worked the other way around. You had the threes, threes that came and out, and, came out and, the and, the and, and then you had some threes. In the yeah, and, but he ran the rim too. So we got some of those in transition, and, and we're really trying to work on running the rim. So they got a guard and run into the rim and allowed us to, to you know, get those two guys out on the perimeter. And we made extra passes. I thought we really shared the ball nicely, reversed the basketball and swung it from side to side. We have a tendency to, you know, be ball stoppers and only swing it halfway, but we really trying to work on swinging that ball from side to side. 